Hey everyone, welcome to another time lapse tutorial where we will sketch this church, which is the Basilica of Supercar in Turin, Italy. And if you want to follow along, you can download the reference photo from the video description below. So I actually made a few small sketches first before drawing it on actual watercolor paper because I wanted to find out what are the challenging or problematic areas. So when you do several quick sketches like this, you can identify those uh, problematic areas very quickly to prevent yourself from making mistakes while you are actually drawing. So uh, these sketches took me just under five minutes each and here I was able to identify that I drew the columns too long and the uh, columns at the top did not align with the columns at the bottom. So it's better to make mistakes here at this stage rather than make it later on while you are sketching on your expensive 100% cotton watercolor paper. And this is a second revision of the earlier sketch where I tried to correct some mistakes. With this sketch, I also have some mistakes, but it's not as glaring as the earlier sketch. All right, so the watercolor paper that I'm using is the Derwent Ink Tense 100% cotton watercolor paper. And I'm marking out the composition using my pencil first because this is quite a detailed subject. So I started by drawing on the left to the right. Uh, I'm trying to get the perspective right. Here I'm just drawing the big shapes first, followed by the smaller details, such as the column. It's always best to draw the big shapes first, then fill in the details. I have marked out some dots here to remind me what part that specifically is. Because sometimes when drawing, especially uh, when there are too many things, uh, you can really get lost when you're drawing. So by marking out uh, certain uh, areas with little details, it reminds me of what that part is. So you can see I've already drawn the bottom section, which is actually divided into three parts. And before I started drawing, I actually measured the proportion taken by the left, the middle, and the right section. The pillars that you see uh, above are actually aligned to the pillars that you see at the bottom. So when you are drawing, you have to, I mean, before you draw, you have to identify um, the, the pattern that is going on. And also you can see the windows, they are aligned vertically. So here is just uh, me adding more details to the sketch. For the columns that you see, uh, the distance between the columns are actually not the same. The, the distance between the second and the third column is actually wider compared to the first, versus first and second, the third and the fourth. So these are little details um, that you have to observe. And this photo was actually taken with the camera quite low to the ground. So the horizon is also quite low to the ground. And many of the lines may seem like they are horizontal. But um, in certain uh, instances, they are actually tilted at a slight angle. But it's okay to draw them horizontal here because they do look very horizontal. So I'm slowly building this sketch from the left to the right, from the bottom to the top. So you may realize um, earlier I said uh, to draw the big ships first, but for the dome, I actually did not draw the dome. I actually just drew the part beneath the dome. I drew the details beneath the dome before I added uh, the dome. Now, if you take a look at the reference photo, you will see the window frames are actually white. The glass is dark color. 
Um, later on, when I painted this sketch with watercolor, I realized maybe I should have just left those uh, windows white and paint the glass as uh, black. I shouldn't use ink lines to draw those window frames which are white. Anyway, um, it still looks all right. It looks fine, but it would probably look better with the white window frames. Oh, by the way, this time lapse uh, video is actually a condensed version of the 40 minute full length video that I have made for my patrons. So if you guys want to um, watch and learn how I sketch this in real time, uh, do consider supporting me on Patreon, which is a subscription website where you can uh, pay a certain dollar amount to support the artist that you like. So here I have uh, basically wet the paper so that I can paint the sky with ultramarine and manganese blue. I really love the granulation from manganese blue. Um, I'm trying to dry the bottom part of the paper so that I can sort of fade or make the sky uh, lighter towards the bottom part. Um, the coloring uh, for this church is actually not very complicated. I mean, this church only has this single color, which is a pale orange color. Um, here I've actually used a more vibrant orange. This is Hansa yellow medium together with transparent pyro orange just to get that variation with the wash. If you're just painting a flat yellow, uh, it's not going to look that interesting. For the trees in the background, I used Hansa yellow medium and Thalo blue. And you may notice the fuzzy edges with the trees. That's because the sky is not dry yet. Uh, I left that horizontal white uh, area at the bottom for the walking path. And for the green at the bottom, I used, sorry, I added a bit more red to the green mixture. So now the first few layers are have already been painted and now I can add the shadows. Uh, the shadows were mixed with the same primary colors that I have been using all along. Hansa Yellow Medium, uh, Pyro Scarlet and French Ultramarine. So it's easier to achieve color harmony if you use the primary colors that you are already using uh, to paint your sketch for mixing shadows. Okay, um, I've added certain shadows where the shadows are not shown in the photo. Uh, this is just me using my own artistic impression to make certain scenes, sorry, certain areas stand out more. I've also painted uh, some of the shadows across the walking pathway and that red little uh, block at the bottom is actually a truck parked in front of the church. So this sketch is almost done. I added additional shadow to the area there because uh, from the photo it looks quite dark. But on hindsight, I probably shouldn't add that. Time to remove the tape, which is just some um, matte textured scotch tape. Thankfully the sticky surface is not that sticky so it's not going to tear the paper. So this is how the final sketch looks and there are still some mistakes but they are not that obvious. If you can identify the mistakes that's great, it means you have good observation skills. If you guys want to learn more about pen ink and watercolor sketching, do check out the many free tutorials that I have on my YouTube playlist. The link is in the video description below and do consider supporting me on Patreon where you can get access to even more tutorials. So thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial is useful. See you in the next video. Bye.